I ain't got to disguise myself. I ain't got to put on no big glasses and no big shoes and look like I'm somebody else. <laughs> Amen. It's have a whole lot of folks to take off the mask. And like you in Halloween, 365 days out the year. Stop pretending. Stop acting. And be what God called you to be. He made up in his mind. I won't eat of the king's meat. I won't defile myself with the king's wine. And because of that, he was thrown, amen, in the den of lions. And God let him lose their appetite. Hallelujah. Don't you know when trouble comes, God will make that thing lose his appetite. Because you upheld the word. You stood on the word. And he had your back. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, we talk about them. They went, amen, to fire. And God was in the fire. Well, what led up to that? You have to make up in your mind and make a stand. Amen. And you know what? Let me tell you something. These folks were happy to go to what they thought was imminent death because they trusted God. They believed God and they stood, amen, for God. And when they came down to question, when the music go off, are you going to bow? Nope. <laughs> when, 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 when all the music is going, you going to bow to my God? Nope. <laughs> and not only that, he's able to deliver us out of your hands. Now, <laughs> can you imagine? You got a furnace over here full of fire. And if you don't bow, you're going to be thrown in the fire. Not only that, he gets mad and has to heat the fire even hotter. Bind him up with more clothes on and to throw him in. And it got so hot, the folks that, hey amen, did it even got burned and killed. <laughs> but they had their minds made up. Yes. We're not pretending this thing. Yes. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, you can't pretend it going in fire. Yes. <laughs> Your act would just last you so long yes. when it comes down to the real deal. Yes. Amen, amen. You act just so long. Yes. Amen. Amen. I remember a preacher, amen, when he was a kid years ago, he was, amen, playing. They were playing church. And they were just like, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And after a while, amen, something took over. And he said, I ain't playing no more. <laughs> Jesus! Hallelujah. It comes a time you got to stop playing. <laughs> and call Jesus for real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And here it is. They were faced with sure death. But they talk so boldly. Amen. Amen. They talk so boldly to authority. But they realize it was a greater authority. Amen. He may have had control over what happened to them in a physical sense. But God had them in a spiritual sense. But not only that, he had control over the ruler to, amen, to protect body and soul. <laughs> and when the Bible, when they threw him in, clothes, all the stuff they were bound with, burn off. And that's what they go, I don't care what the enemy try to bind you with. When you try to walk up right before God, amen, it won't hold you. It won't keep you. It won't prevent you. Hallelujah. And it's in, it said, it said I, I, I threw three in. But lo, there's four. And then somebody said, praise God, that, hey amen, uh, uh, when, when, when the three came out, the only three came out when it was four in. They said, because the other one stayed in, because one day we're going to be thrown in the fire. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. One day we're going to have to go through the fire. One day we're going to have to make up our minds what we're going to do and what we're not going to do. Hallelujah. But remember this, ye are the light of the world. Let's say amen. Didn't they do wonderful? 
Wonderful job. Glory to God. You know, I love good preaching. Come on. They preached today, didn't they? We didn't hear a good word all day long. Anytime you hear a good word, the devil is busy. Amen. The devil is busy. But God is still in control. Look at somebody say, God is still in control. By your ties. You want to come up? Speak to the mountain. I Thank you.